What's up, everybody? Hey, Spidey Joe down here. Hope you're having a marvelous day. And we have our CGC unboxing. I've actually got actually got uh, four CGC boxes here uh, that we've got to unbox and a total of about 50 books. So just going to take a minute and uh, see who all jumps into the live stream. What's up, Watch Me? What's up, Marvel Kid? How's it going? So we're actually live in two places right now. We're live on Instagram and we're live on YouTube. So that's this will be fun. See how this works out. Uh, if anybody is on YouTube, if you could confirm the audio, that would be great. Uh, can you guys hear me okay on Instagram? Let me know. What's up, Deacon? Yeah, just let me know if you can hear me okay. If you can't, uh, we'll figure something out. Okay, good. Good, good, good. You never know because you're sitting in a room by yourself and, you know, looking at a camera and uh, playing with Marvel cards or Marvel Legends. But in this case, this is uh, CGC comic books is what we're going to be looking at. I got about 50 books graded. Uh, some of these you'll probably recognize. Some of you may not. We've got Spider-Man and Spawn uh, books in here, mainly from the 90s. Um, how am I doing dual? Well, uh, <laughs> Uh, let's, I, I'll show you uh, here in a little bit, but I don't want to move everything right now, but basically, basically two cameras. So I have my laptop and I have it attached to a camera, which I'm talking to in the mic. And then I have my iPhone propped up for the IG live. So doing both of them at the same time. So that's, that's my trickery. So Dustin, Hey everybody say hello to my twin brother, Dustin. He actually has one book. Uh, in this unboxing that belongs to him. So and I think it may be in this first box. So you haven't ever seen how CGC uh, sends books. That's how they send them for the most part. And yeah, this is a, these are big books right here. So um, if you were on the live stream last night, let me show this off first. Uh, if you were on the live stream last night, you saw the Clayton Crane uh, first appearance of Miles Morales book here that has, you know, the remark on it where, excuse me, there it is, remark, where you can see where he drew Miles Morales masked up. Uh, so in a way, this makes it a first full cover appearance. And uh, so I'm very excited about that. But we also had these books signed as well and graded. They don't have a drawing on them, uh, but just the just the signature of uh, the artist Clayton Crane. So we'll take a look at these grades. Let's see here. Here are the books. I'm going to keep the grades hidden, uh, and we'll well I'm gonna try to. I may not be able to do this all afternoon keeping the grades hidden on camera but uh here's the first one after i move this slip out of the way here's the first one okay this one's mine this is actually the sorry for that glare this is actually the second um this is a second print variant is what they call it second print variant and it came back at a nine four and that is an infinity signature that actually looks really good uh, let me get that up close for everybody without the glare. If you can see, he did multiple colors there. And uh, wow, I'm actually uh, I'm actually really impressed with, with how that came out. That looks good. I'm very happy about that. And then I think I'm revealing grades here. We've got another one. This one came back. This is another, this is a true first print. And look, if you're not familiar with this book, the way you know it's a true first print is a couple of ways, but Miles' face is hidden is, is one of the ways to know. And came back in 9-2, and that signature's here at the bottom. He did kind of a red, white, and blue to match Captain America. So that's cool. That looks good at a 9.2. That looks good. Okay. And then we've got two more here. We've got one that's a, another true first print. So it came back as a 9-0. 
and we've got the auto down here at the bottom. Looks good. Would have loved a little bit higher grade, uh, Dustin. If you're on here, that one that one is yours. That one that one is definitely definitely yours based on what we know about the book. Uh, but the signature looks great. It's a great placement there by Cap. That red, white, blue. So it's they, not quite the Infinity signature, or well, it is the Infinity signature, but red, white, white, and blue colors. So Marble Madness. Hey man, that's all right. If you're the only one in there, that's all right. And this is the second print because his face is showing. And it came back at a 9-2 as well. And you can see the signature down here at the bottom. There it is, right there. And that's good. So that is our four Miles Morales first appearance books signed by Clayton Crane. Uh, so that actually gives us five total uh, that were signed or remarked. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, collectible fun. Uh, is that is that what the signature is looked like for? Uh, I'm, I guess I'm not sure what you're asking, but Clayton Crane is really known about doing, he's known for doing these auto signatures in different colors that kind of match the color scheme of the book, which I really like. Uh, the comic book community really likes. It's pretty cool. So let me get another box open real quick. If you didn't hear me, we got about 50 books. <laughs> so it's quite a few. And again, mostly Spider-Man spawn books with a few other titles thrown in there. Get this one opened up. I couldn't put it all in one box. Oh, yeah, it's normally blue, but when you, it's CGC, when you have a signature on a book, they do a yellow label. That's what that's, that's what that's about. So, um, so guys are asking about the header here. It's a yellow label because it's a signature series. You see that? Signature series. And then we paid to get the Miles Morales uh, on top of there. So, very cool. The, the labels matter a great deal for CGC. If you so if you don't know about the labels, make sure you do the research before you start buying books. Uh, because if it's if it's not blue or yellow, it can it can mean quite a bit in terms of the book's value. So here we have the first appearance of uh, Carnage, which really not first appearance of Carnage, first appearance of Cletus Cassidy, who becomes Carnage. If you're not familiar with this book, this book has picked up some steam lately. They came back at an 8.0. And these books are just really clean books that I've sent, but they were not pressed and cleaned. So, that could, you know, this may have got a better grade, but this is just my personal collection, so I'm happy with it at an 8.0. Let's see where our next book is. Next one, this is, um, this is Medieval Spawn and Witchblade. This is really a childhood favorite of mine. And uh, really, I've always just loved this cover, if you're not familiar with it. It's gorgeous. And it also came back at an 8 Just And this is actually the gold label, uh, the, the, the gold title there. And, in fact, they put it up here, EMT Gold Edition, first appearance of the Darkness Power. So, cool book, 8 That's a personal collection book. Uh, yeah, you have to ask for the um, for the character, uh, and they don't always have it available, and they retire them. So at some point, that particular version of Miles Morales will be retired, and you won't be able to get it anymore. Okay, we've got Spawn number twenty one here. And this book is really hard to get a good grade on because it's all white. It came back at an eight five. Nothing particularly special about this book, but I do really like the cover. It's, I think it's one of the fewer, first kind of shorter print books in the Spawn run. All right, here we got a Star Wars book. Uh, this one came back, this was uh, Canyon number 12. And the importance of this book is it's the, uh, it's a homage cover in the last issue, okay? And it came back at a 9.6, which, again, for not being pressed and clean and graded, I mean, pressed and cleaned, that's a really good grade. 
So very happy about that. Yeah, there, yeah, there is a gold label uh, for sure, but that's only when there's a signature. And it has to have been authenticated by CGC. If CGC doesn't witness the signature, you can't get the gold label. All right, so here we have uh, X-Men number four. This is the first appearance of Omega Red. And hey, I'm pleased with that. That came back at a 9.4. Probably, probably could have got a 9.6 if it had been pressed. But uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. First appearance of Mega Red. Got some really good Jim Lee goodness going on there. Hey, Paul, thanks, man. Yeah, I've been working on the room uh, quite a bit. So... Still got a lot of work actually to do <laughs> and I'm making even more of a mess now. Okay. This is a new mutants 100 and this is the third print. So of this book, um, you know, print one sold quite a bit of copies. And it was the second print. This is the more desirable third print white cover. And this one came back at a nine Oh, uh, this is really more for the personal collection for me. So I'm happy with that. It's a cool book. Some, uh, that's Rob Lightfield there. Now, this is a new book. This is a new uh, Marvel comic book that uh, just came out this year, actually, called Heroes Reborn, number one. And I'm trying to show you a close-up, because look at, look at Juggernaut. He is, that's like Dr. Doom as Juggernaut. <laughs> and so I bought it. Dr. Doom as Juggernaut? Yeah, Absolutely. That came back at 9.8, and that came back at 9.8 right off the shelf for the comic book store, so that's really happy about that. Um, yeah, this is just a sweet book. Just love the cover, and I, I love the idea of Dr. Doom's Juggernaut. <laughs> so I haven't I actually haven't read it. I bought it and then sent it to have it graded because of the cover, and uh, I will. I'll take the time to read it, but uh, it's still pretty cool. So that's one of the fewer modern books I have. Okay, to go with the X-Men number four, we have X-Men number five here. Again, just a sweet cover by Jim Lee. Second appearance of Omega Red. Came in at a 9-0. That's all right. I'll take that. That's still going to look good on the shelf. This is just wall art to me. And our last book here. Okay, this is the this finishes off the Omega Red run. X-Men number six. Look at that Psylocke, Sabretooth, doesn't that look great? It's just fantastic. And that came back at a 9-0, so I've got, you know, 9-4, 9-0, 9-0, and the 9-4 nine, the was in the money book. That is the Omega Red first appearance, so happy about that. I have to find somewhere else to stack books. I'm running out of room. All right, two more boxes of them. So... Let's see, how many books was that? I don't know, I, I wasn't keeping count, but we've got 50 to go through the total. What's up, JD? My buddy James Douglas has joined us. All right. He's not much of a comic book guy, but he, he likes the shows. And he's a good buddy of mine. So. Yeah, Paul, I do. I love that Jim Lear as well, man. So Such good stuff. In fact, a little bit later tonight, I've got to get a book ready that I'm sending off to CGC to be signed by Jim Lee. I probably should have done that before I started this. But... All right. Got another stack to go through. Okay, this looks like a Spider-Man book. Let me set these to the side so I don't drop them. I'm always so afraid they're going to slip out of these plastic covers. All right. Here we have gold, gold foil, Spider-Man number one, classic, classic Todd McFarlane cover. And this one came back a 9-2. And we've got the uh, Spider-Man logo there looking good. Again, this is uh, just another one that's going to be wall art for me here that uh, go up on the shelf. And, man, that looks good. That looks sweet with that gold encased with the blue. 
Really pleased with that. Gotta find a new place to put books. All right, our next one here. We have, yeah, that does look, looks like, uh, looks nice in the CGC case. So here we have, okay, giant size X-Men, 9.8. You might be like, dude, that's amazing. Uh, this is a reprint. And, uh, but I just, I wanted to get one because I love uh, this cover, these first appearances. It's good stuff. So I've got a giant size X-Men 9.8, but it is, it is a reprint. And you're going to see a few, few reprints here. And some of these reprints sell pretty well, actually. Like this one. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Looks really good in 9.8. So I really like that. I'm very happy to have this to go on the shelf. You know, just a 3.0 of this book right now costs $50,000. So to have a reprint, 9.8, just to have on the shelf, and I'm happy about it. That looks good. And then I think we've got one more here. Let's see. That's a reprint. No, nope, this is not a reprint. This is uh this is my copy. Newsstand edition. Wolverine number one, the Frank Miller. Uh, Frank Miller. And that came back at a 5.5. Probably could have really used the uh, clean and press on this one. But um, yeah. But anyways, still presents well. Still has a lot of color, and I, so I like that. Man, sorry about that glare, guys. But 5.5, but it's going to look good on the shelf. Very classic cover, very classic. All right, so we actually haven't opened. Oh, look, my buddy wants to be on. We uh, we actually have not opened the, uh, the biggest box yet. So let's grab it. Dude! What's up, Norad? Hey, buddy. Hey, say hello. Say hello to YouTube. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to turn you up so I can hear you. Oh, your headset on. There we go. Sitting in my yellow chair. What's going on, everybody? Stop your crash this, uh, no, this fun EGC reveal. It's not a party till you show up. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Yeah, this is this last box is really big, so give me a second. Yeah, I think we have at least 20 books in this one. So, hey, uh, YouTube says hello. I think it's Marvel, yeah, Marvel Madness says hello on YouTube. Okay, so, so you guys may not recognize yeah. this, but, um, this is actually one of Todd McFarlane's earlier works. Okay. And uh, it is, it is a Marvel book. In fact, this is the first Todd McFarlane published artwork. Okay. And we got it at a 9.6. So happy about that. Uh, yeah. That's a killer grade, man. Yeah. Coyote, the heat. He did a couple of these Cal Odie books. Cal Odie books. Uh, my brother gave me those for my birthday one year. So happy to have that. What's you're, going? Deep, deep, you're deep on the knowledge of this, man. It's so impressive. Yeah, well, thank you. Oh, we got some, uh, I mean, we got a lot of good friends in. Uh, on IG. Hey. Got Elusive, Sydney. Uh, want that card. And then Arkell asked, can you explain what is a reprint? Uh, the car's fake. Well, hey, a reprint in the comic book world is is a published book with the intent of everyone knowing it is a reprint so that people can actually have a chance to read these Grail books that are difficult to get now, right? And so, um, so reprints are pretty vital, but as those Grail books get really expensive, some of the earlier reprints become more expensive. Like if you had reprints that were printed in the 80s, if they're not, if they're high grades, they actually can have some value to them, even as reprints. So, all right, this is a, so did you know Wolverine had a daughter, like 
not X-23. Really? Yeah. No, I didn't. So this is actually her, uh, her first appearance. Well, they don't have it listed here, but it really is. I don't know why they have it. But anyways, it's a, it, she actually has mystical claw now. And anyways, her first appearance is in this book, but CGC, for some reason, didn't put it on there. They really should have. I'm going to have to message them about that. What? Yeah. What year is that? This is from... Uh, what two, year is that? That's beautiful. Yeah, this is actually 2019. With uh, Deadpool, Wolverine, and uh, Ghost Rider on the cover. What? Rin is her name. Yeah, I just thought of it. Rin. Okay, we've got another Spider-Man book here. Another gold. It's our second one. This is a 9.2. I think the other one was a 9 up. So we did better on that one. And that gold, man, that just, doesn't it look stunning in gold? Those covers never get old. They don't that do that. so iconic. <laughs> I love it. And uh, Norm, we uh, we opened up our other Clayton Crane books. We got four signatures. Um, they all graded out pretty well, nine or higher. So. All right. Spawn kills everything. <laughs> Cute little cover here. Came back in 9.8. Um, yep. Damn. J.J. Kirby art, Tommy McFarlane art. I just thought it was a cool cover. Got to grade it. I love that cover. Yeah. You know, for covers, the hardest ones to grade are black covers. Is that right? I heard that somewhere. Black for sure. In older books, white can be really hard because they get dirty. Same. Yeah. So this is Amazing Spider-Man number nine. And um, I can't remember why I got this one graded. I don't know. Probably for the cover. That came back in 9.6. Spider-Verse book. I actually think I may have put that in the list of them. <laughs> All right. That was, that was okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so for those who don't know, this is the actual first appearance of um, uh, Spider-Man 2099. Because the actual Spider-Man 2099 book is previewed inside of this book. So it's a comic book and a comic book, basically. This one came back in 9.0. So, so yeah. they consider that the first? Yeah, first appearance of Spider-Man 2099. It's a gate foiled, uh, and then there's a there's a poster in here by Mark Bagley as well. But yeah, it's inside of the book. The hollow looks good in the case. Yeah, the hollow, Marvel Madness will enjoy that. Like the hologram, Marvel? Oh, yeah. Where will that one rank? <laughs> That's right. So I submitted a few of those, uh, those books. So let's see. We should have some more here. I'll be quick about it. Got another 9-0. Nice. So I already already have one at a 9-4 that I have on my wall that I had graded. It was the better of the books. So these should all be lower than that one. Another 9-0. That's three of them. And let's see here. I think this is... Oh, yeah. Children of the Atom. This is a 1 in 25 variant. It was a surprise variant because Cyclops was supposed to be Havoc. And uh, ended up, oh, so it came back in 9-8. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. And I'll, I got that because I have another variant cover of that same book, the Jim Lee variant, uh, which is 1 in 200 books. Yeah, I was chasing the variants for Circle for a little while, and then I had to stop. You had to stop, yeah. Well, the thing about variants is that when you hear like one in 25, uh, that means a store had to order 25 of the regular print to get one of that variant. And so when you hear like one in 200, how many comic book stores in America are actually ordering 200 of a book? Not, not very many. So it creates really low scarcity at that point. All right, so we got Tom McFarlane uh, here, Spawn number one. Awesome cover. 9.8. Happy to see that. That's awesome. Yeah, very happy about that. So uh, I, I will be selling these at some point uh, on the Spawns because I actually have a new stand 9.8 signed by Todd. And, uh, just casually. Just casually. Drop that out there. Yeah, and so I, I, 
I can't do better than that with a, with a spawn. New stand, signed, and 9.8. So here's another one. It's a 9.0. Good. Good for somebody. I'd say I'll wait till the movie comes out. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, that's going to be great. Did that get canceled? What's going to happen? It constantly is like getting delayed because Tom wants full control. Here's another one. 9.2. Quite a few first appearances in this one too, but Al Simmons is the one I point out. I wonder which one has a first appearance of Angelica. Uh, that's I'm about to pull it out. I'm not here. Now, boy, two. Yeah, first appearance of Angelica. I should have here in a few minutes. At least that's what my brain's telling me. <laughs> oh man! Oh, uh, Dave came on and suddenly <laughs> Cyclops is like, "Oh, what?" Yeah, no, it's just a reprint, but whatever. Wow! Still gonna look good on the shelf. It's still pretty though. I think it looks good, man. I have the nine. Uh, you, I don't know if you were watching, but got nine eight reprint of that. Uh, Giant size X Men, Spider Man number one, uh, Maids and Fantasy fifteen, and. Uh, so, I just wanted them on the wall. Yeah, I love it. I think that's great. I think they look great. I'm still flirting with the idea of the Silver Surfer 1, but... I'm <sighs> <Point eight. laughs> So, those are going to look good. That's They're great. all reprints. They're all reprints. We're going to look fantastic together. Fantastic. Oh, here's another one of the early uh, Spawn books. I mean, uh, Tom McFarlane books. Oh. That one got a 9.8. That is really excellent. That's really awesome, actually. I mean, that's a book from 1985 to get a 9.8. Wow. So, I, I'm assuming you picked up that book out in the wild, then. My brother gave it to me out of the wild for a birthday present. It's outstanding to me that some of these things can come back as high as great as they do. Yeah, that is Being, uh, like that's amazing. That really and that book has not been pressed. None of these books were pressed. I kind of um, I kind of got in a hurry to send some books and get them back. And so yeah. to get those nine point eight, that's another nine oh. That's I gotta run a nine O's and those. You can't press the, when the book has a hologram in like that, you can't press it. What about um, like a foil lane of some sort, like an embossed foil lane? I'm thinking of like Silver Surfer 75th. Can't yeah, do I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. The, 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 it'll mess up the embossment, I guess. Yeah, like this one? Yeah. I could not press. Cool. Yeah, nice. Uh, that's a Ooh, great cover. Man, that's that's a tough one to get a 9.6 in. If I would have got a 9.8, that would have been wow. awesome. But that. This book has that thick cardboard. I mean, that can't, there can't be that many 9.6s of that. Yeah. That's clean. That is really clean. Happy with that one. That's like a mirror. You can look at yourself right yeah. in the That's beautiful. <laughs> That's cool. Sydney owns all the originals of those books, he says. Sydney, we don't need that kind of. <laughs> so this is just a cool cover I really, I've always liked Spawn as Santa Claus I love that and, uh, I love that ooh nine eight. that's nice what yeah I like that that's yep. a beautiful cover man I love this Spawn toys remember the Tom and Flooring toys man the like I had um, the Redeemer and then he did movie style ones remember that oh yeah so good here's uh Love those. This is the current spawn toy. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. You just did a great job. Whoever made those toys really, really knew what they were Fault doing. In. Nope is up. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. They know it did that. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's still kind of statue. There's a. Yeah. A, there's a lot of debate in the Spawn uh, world of toys because he did statues early on 
that's where his fans, like his early fans, they, they want statues. Where, you know, like your Marvel Legends guys, we want to be able to pose in any pose we want. And he can't please both of those fan bases. And so, it's tough. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. They're beautiful. All, All right. those were great. So, oh. so, Here's what's special about this book. I'm going to show you another one first, okay? So you're familiar with this one. Yeah. All right. And this one is the same, but it's not, right? Yeah, without the red foil. This came out in 1992. This book is a 9.8, sells for 180 bucks. okay? This book came out in 2001, as a 9.8 sales for 1500 to 2500 This came in a toy biz com com action figure. And so this is technically the variant to this one. Okay. Fascinating. And so, uh, so we'll show this great first. For fun. That one came back in 9 0. Again, got that foil. Can't get them pressed. It's tough. I have this one in a 9-8 already. And then you have this one. And uh, see how it's got the black edge? Yeah, that's scary. It's, it's really hard because if it gets a spine ticket in it. <laughs> We're really close. Super close. It's still a 9.6 and that must be crazy. Uh, I mean, to come with an action figure? Oh, yeah, because it's in a plastic case that does this. Yeah. And oh, so yeah, that to, for those that edges to stay true. Kind of yeah, and then, you know, whoever, even if they kept it mint on card and didn't open it up, they threw it around and stacked stuff on top of yeah. it. You know, There's so. There's no way of getting that. You have to be super lucky. Yeah, so. Uh, That's pretty, man. That looks really good. It looks good in that white, doesn't it? So this is a this is PC. This is staying in the personal collection. It'll only it'll only be moved out by you know nine point eight. A nine point eight, yeah. That's awesome. All right. This is one, this one's cool. Oh, that is cool. I haven't seen that cover. Yeah. So this is this, this whole little run here kind of tells the origin of Wolverine. And. Um, like this book, we're all selling for like eighty-five dollars now. It's such a cool cover. But you all know, I always thought the first book that told the history of Wolverine was um, the big one that was made a big deal when you and I were younger. The Origins, like when you like mm -hmm. Bone Claws, like the, the really legendary one with the. With the uh, this is the that's... this is the adamantium story. Ah, uh, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. so we got an eight point. I really wanted a higher grade than that. Yeah, I probably should have taken the time to have this one press. Could have gotten a grade. That's on me. But CC had gotten kind of backed up, and I don't Do want to. Crack? What's that? Do you ever crack and retry? Um, I wouldn't on that book. Like crack the case and retry. Yeah. on that one, I would not. I would not do that. I, you can, and I have. I mean, one of the. Uh, Clayton Crane books was actually cracked. So Pink Star. Oh wow. All right, we got another spawn here. Nine oh. So we got I think with three of those nine O's. A nine two yeah. and a nine eight. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we've got left here. Got a couple of books left. Okay, so there's uh, your first appearance. Cover. That's the uh, first appearance of Angela. For those who don't know, Angela now belongs to the Marvel Universe, and I think soon maybe the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We'll see, because she becomes a guardian at some point. And this one came back at a 7-0. And that is a clean book. There must be something substantial somewhere to make that one come down that far. I don't know. I have to look. Something ridiculous. But uh, still looks really Beautiful good. Cover though.
Right. Right. All right, let's see what else we have here. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> All right, we've got another spawn. That was going to be a big reveal. <laughs> big reveal. <laughs> big reveal. So we got another spawn book here, and hey, we got another 9.8. So we did good. We got multiple 9.8s on that one. First appearance of spawn. Wow. So that pleases me. That's very never going to go. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Oh, look. So um, let me let me move some stuff here real quick. And well, I want to show you this the uh, Clayton Crane sign book. Yeah, man. So many books. Now, now where to put them? Said maybe, maybe something internal in the book, maybe. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, it could be something internal, and I I did not open that one up. But the, uh, the spine and the corners and the edges, they look really good. Oops, where's that? So Madness wants to know, Madness, did you text me? Okay. Uh, Madness wants to know uh, how much of the spawn non-newsstand is worth. Uh, probably $350. I haven't priced it in a while. Um, the new stand has shot up so much in value that it's starting to help lift the direct edition. So, for the people who are just now joining us, there's the Clayton Crane Auto. On this is the second print of the first appearance of Miles Morales, and you see Norn how he did it in different colors. The signature. Yeah, I see. That. Oh, is that the Infinity signature you were telling me about? Yeah, it's hard to do with that glare. So that's the second print. Yeah, but I, I, it's the blue, white, red, right? Blue, white, red. That's right. That's good. Then this is a true first print. Another one. No, no. This is actually my brother's here. Then Miles is such an important character. Yeah. And then there is uh, my true first print is a nine two. This was I bought this as a as a PGX, which is another grading company. And it was a 9.6. Yeah. And CGC dropped it to a 9.2. But PGX is known for overgrading. And then this is a pretty cool cover. This is the kind of the first full appearance on mass. Uh, second, this second print variant. And I just really love how that signature looks up there. Wow. At the top. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, wow. And on white like that? <laughs> That's good. So I'll have my first print, second print, second print variant all on the wall. That's going to be sick, man. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all 50 that's of awesome. them. <laughs> you beast. Yeah. We got more coming. So I can't remember how many. I've got, um, so I've got Mephisto's first appearance coming. And then, um, what else? Oh, uh, first appearance of, of Kang. It's at CGC right now. That's cool. They're going to be lower grades because those are, you know, much, much older books. How many Legends characters I mean, have you? Yeah, but like, who cares, man? Yeah, no. I mean, a 2.5 just sold for $1,300. So, on the Kang book. Yeah, come on. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. The, the low grades is what's going to matter for them. Like, I was looking into, like, like you know, I told you what I was looking into and stuff. And, man, it's the only thing you're ever going to be able to own at one point is going to be lower grades. And mm -hmm. those prices are going to be crazy. It's just going to trinkle down. That's so interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm really mad at you because you're getting me both into action figures and comic books. And, and no, I have I'm a lot of people cussing upset. me out lately. <laughs> yeah, very upset. Yeah. Very upset. I went to GalaxyCon today, actually. Did you? How was that? Down here. It was good. There was tons of legend uh, action figures. I almost got the two surfers, but I'm too cheap. Um, <laughs> but then, if it was a sketch card. It was fun. Yeah. 
sketch. When it comes to the sketch card, I'm not <laughs> Right. I'm curious. So were they loose or in a box? They were in the box. They were in the box. So the the Walgreens the, the, uh, they probably won a sixty four for the Walgreens. I actually didn't ask the price because I thought so it was in the box. They mm. probably would have won at sixty. I didn't ask only because I knew they wanted a lot and the box wasn't great. So if it was over forty or even like thirty, mm -hmm. I was still skeptical to buy it because the box had like white edges. On it, and I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to do it. Oh, so you wouldn't open you know it? I mean? Do you know me at all? <laughs> do you, are we even friends? I What's was... wrong with you? That goes straight on a wall. <laughs> I guess I have two. I keep. I got you. <laughs> uh, only yeah, only Spider-Man figures do I not open. Everything else gets open. I get two. Well, I, I get two and open one. Well, I mean, I get, I get two. So, look, I'll show you how crazy I am. Hey, well, we're going to end the YouTube. YouTube, yeah, guys, you. been a lot of fun. Hey, jump over on, on IG if you want to stay live with us. But uh, been great. See hey, you guys. Everybody. Have a marvelous day.